love him or hate him, there's no denying that he made for some great TV. You want drama? I'll give it to you. You ain't seen yet. And guess what? He lived up to that notion and far, far more. Right from the very beginning, Leslie Gilliams, the old and grumpy dude from season 5, ruffled some feathers when he showed up in the MasterChef kitchen. While a lot of contestants called him out on his cocky behavior, let's not forget the talent that he had to back it up. And the humor too. Speaking of, do you remember the elimination challenge from episode 9, when Joe asked Leslie to not get tanked while doing this? Uh, excuse me? That was meant to be one of the ingredients. Apparently, it was the only solution that he came up with to calm his nerves. But just you wait till you hear his response. Hey Leslie, don't get tanked. Hey, I'm 56, that's all I do. <laughs> yeah, this dude was a total badass, and he wasn't afraid to speak his mind either. But hey, let's be honest here, Leslie could really bring it in the kitchen. I mean, not many people could survive five pressure tests like he did. Better chefs would avoid them altogether, but still, you gotta give him credit where credit is due, right? When Ramsay said that nobody had ever done that before in MasterChef, you bet that Leslie had the perfect reply to that. Well, you haven't met me yet. <laughs> this man was a legend, especially when it comes to his comebacks. Even though some people found him arrogant, you've got to respect that Leslie has always brought his A-game to every challenge. Yeah, this dude was far from all talk, right? The seasoning could have been a little more, but the acidity of that ceviche was right on. He may not be the perfect cook, but Leslie swore by one mantra. I don't underestimate him, I just gotta beat him. Which is exactly what he did. The famous chef actually seemed to like him, which says a lot considering how much he gave his contestants a really hard time. In fact, a lot of people think that this guy was the lifeblood of season 5. She is an amazing lady, that's why I married her. What woman has 7 kids, let alone a dynamite husband like me? And don't even get me started on the donut challenge. Wow. O-M-G. By the way, it was his very first attempt at making donuts, if you can believe it. Speaking of first attempts, back in 2020, Elizabeth shared some insights about her experiences on MasterChef. While her non-disclosure agreement prevents her from discussing certain behind-the-scenes details, she didn't feel legally obligated to stay completely silent. I won't spoil anything, but apparently, Leslie read it too. And here's his take on it. I still don't know. And I mean that honestly, I'm not saying it because I don't want to answer it. Well, you definitely have to agree that he handled the situation pretty intelligently. But what was the discussion about? You see, some viewers felt the show's producers intentionally portrayed Leslie negatively to create some drama. But the man only sees himself as just another regular guy caught up in the realities of reality television. As he's pointed out before, manufacturing conflict is a part of the show, and Leslie just decided to lean into it. However, here's another thing that became a hot topic as far as discussions on the show go. Okay, please No, no, I got where I got because I work. Turns out, Leslie was a stay-at-home dad who volunteered to take care of his kids, while his wife was the primary breadwinner of the family. Leslie was so proud of the position that he held in his household, but for some reason, it rubbed Elizabeth the wrong way. Obviously, your wife works, and you don't. Especially coming from a woman, the comment that she made didn't exactly sit well with me. Did she forget that stay-at-home moms or dads are called homemakers? It's a role that's just as important, if not more, than a proper day job. And this comment triggered Leslie to the point of biting back. Figure out how I got there. Earmuff! You want drama? I'll give it to you. You ain't seen yet. I can totally understand his frustration here. Chef Ramsay had to step in to defuse the situation after seeing that Leslie was thrown off his game at a station. The oldest, one of the most mature, start showing it. I apologize. Pull this back. If you ask me, in a way, Leslie's priority was staying true to himself. Some viewers think that he seemed like a straightforward guy who only wanted to play the game with complete honesty. By the way, fans also praised him for owning up to his mistakes as soon as he made them. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Apology accepted. Although some people thought it was just a half-hearted apology, in the end, it worked out, right? Despite all the backlash that he received, he managed to prove everybody wrong by being one of the strongest and most consistent cooks in the individual challenges. It's like an apple pie and blueberry pie crashed. Thank you very Great much, job, I appreciate Leslie. it. He excelled in every pressure test by a mile, except for the one that led to his elimination. You put the salt in place of the sugar. Probably days and days of working under the immense pressure of the competition finally got to him. Or, well, maybe he was just having an off day. I mean, for someone who pulled off such complex challenges with ease, it's sad to say that he mixed up something as basic as salt and sugar. But guess what? 
he took it in stride. You know what? I figured my luck kind of ran out after six and she just happened to knock me off my pedestal. I mean, this dude was in an entire league of his own, culinarily and morally. During the challenge where they had to feed 500 soldiers, Leslie pointed out to Stephanie that her chicken wasn't fully cooked yet. These are not done. These are not done. They're not done. Oh, that one is. Yeah, yeah. no, 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 no. Look. However, Stephanie, for some reason, decided to ignore his feedback. But sometime later, he was proven right when Chef Ramsay also found the chicken to be raw. Raw. Raw chicken. It must have been so satisfying for Leslie to prove that he knew what he was talking about. Even if the blue team ended up losing the challenge that day. At least it wasn't his fault, right? But do you know what else he's known for? For his childish behavior and random outbursts that usually ended in extremely condescending remarks. It's not him and me, because that'll happen if we lose. And I don't think he wants to lose, and I definitely don't want to lose. While most contestants were at the receiving end of his snark, Aran was the most notable target of them all. However, with time, Leslie toned down his anger and adopted a friendlier and kinder vibe with his fellow contestants. Eventually, this turn in attitude happened to work in his favor, and Leslie gradually started to earn the respect of his fellow cooks. The whole clash that he had with Elizabeth? The dude was quick to jump in and resolve the issue. Leslie, you can't be proving me off of something, okay? I got it, I got it. Speaking of contestant rivalry, I can't help but bring up the tiff that he had with Daniel. Move, got it. move! He's an ex beautician house bitch that works for his wife. Daniel's behavior was disrespectful to say the very least. He didn't spare one opportunity to bark at Leslie. You see, some people, no matter how hard they try, simply can't warm up to Leslie. Leslie was this no-nonsense contestant who called it like he saw it, irrespective of the consequences. And you have to agree that most times, he turned out to be right. The blue team didn't listen to him when he recommended cooking beef in one of the challenges. A fully booked dining room and a fully booked dining room. Yes, so you yes. put your yes. aside for a minute and come yes, back. Yes, well, it was the perfect opportunity to turn things around, but, well, they decided to ignore him altogether. But nothing could compare to his long-lived feud with Cutter. On one hand, it was due to Leslie's own cockiness, but also because of Cutter's arrogance and refusal to admit his mistakes. Every team Leslie's been on, he's had an issue with somebody. You see, Cutter had his own demons. And I promise I'll be back with another video about him. God knows he needs an entire video of his own. That is how obnoxious he was. Having two hot-headed individuals in one season definitely paved the way for some quality entertainment. But you know what? Leslie almost never made it to the MasterChef kitchen in the first place. After faking it to make it in the first attempt, Leslie confessed that he had many tricks up his sleeve and also expressed how much he needed an apron. When he landed another chance to prove his worth, Leslie decided to shoot his shit with stuffed chicken breast with mashed potatoes and carrots. Nice seasoning on the chicken, nice crisp on the skin on the top. Good technique. While he was praised for the delicious chicken breast, he was criticized for the absurd portion size. And, I mean, fair point. Either way, he was able to secure an apron and move on to the actual competition itself. We think we can teach you some new tricks. Come get your apron. Thank you very much. Anyway, coming back to the innumerable confrontations that he's had on the show, let me quickly give you a glimpse of what happened during episode 5. Leslie and Francis L. were appointed as team captains for the wedding theme challenge after both of them were named winners from the previous elimination test. For his team, Leslie decided to go with Christian, Daniel, Jamie, Aran, Christine, Tyler, Jordan, and Francis B. When the challenge kicked off, Leslie wanted to hear his teammates' opinions instead of taking full control like an ideal leader should. I want to hear everybody's opinion. I want to just try and figure out what direction we want to go in. I don't want to take control of the situation. However, when the famous chef checked in and asked Leslie about the menu, he struggled to actually recite it correctly. Scallops on a, 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 a pea uh, puree. Chef Ramsay was completely distraught. Uh, Red team know what they're doing. No, we're, we're, they we're, don't. We're, 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 we're still trying to get our group. He asked the Red team to get their shit together, and this pushed Leslie into communicating better with his team. Although, it wasn't well received by his teammates. When he urged his teammates to constantly keep him updated, none of them cooperated. In his defense, Leslie stated that he never lead a team who didn't want to be led in the first place. When Daniel saw him cracking under pressure, he decided to step in and allow Francis B to replace Leslie as the team captain. They all decided that I am out of control and I don't know what I'm doing. Although he wasn't entirely convinced, he eventually allowed Francis B to take over from him as the team captain. In his confessional, Leslie shared his disappointment of being removed from the position, but also promised that he would cooperate if it could help win the challenge. I don't care what it takes, and not being team captain anymore, we win this, that's all I'm concerned about. Despite all the adjustments that were made, sadly, his team lost the challenge. 
Blue team. Yeah! Although it wasn't entirely on him, Leslie took responsibility and apologized to his team for screwing up. Aron wasn't moved though. You have no communication skills at all. So can I say something or are you just gonna jump in every time? What followed next was a huge argument between the two with Leslie and Aron lashing out at each other. And grow some balls. Yeah, it's never a good idea to poke the bear. And Leslie wasn't about to take that lying down. Christian and Christine, who witnessed this fallout, called Leslie out for his harsh remarks. But this ended up being an even bigger outburst as Leslie exploded, saying that he had enough. And if you want respect, you have to earn it. And if I give it to you, you I damn better get it back. While things did eventually cool off, Leslie lectured the entire team, especially Iran, for the gross lack of respect they've been giving him since day one. She had no respect for me from day one. And if you want respect, you have to earn it. Sometime later, Leslie was given the responsibility of naming three home cooks to compete in the pressure test. And Leslie was quick to seize the opportunity. They threw me under the bus, so I figured now it's my turn to return the favor. His intentions were very clear. He picked Christian for his know-it-all behavior, Daniel for throwing him under the bus, and Iran, well, I think you and I both know his reasons. Iran and I do not get along together as far as in a kitchen. Well, that's Leslie for you. He intentionally chose to mispronounce her name, and Chef Ramsay had to correct him at one point. Iran is the head chef. Hey, ah, just, uh, just shout, ah, ah, Ron, Ron. Although the famous chef was intrigued by the nominations, he decided to throw a curveball that no one saw coming. Fortunately for them, it's not your decision. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie himself was called down thanks to his horrible leadership and was joined by Jordan and Francis B for their individual poor performances. Believe me, things were about to get real intense. During the pressure test, the home cooks were tasked to replicate a dish of steak frites. While Graham and Joe were impressed with Leslie's confidence, Leslie believed that it would be Jordan's last day in the MasterChef kitchen. Probably Jordan, because I think he hasn't as cooked as many steaks as I have. <laughs> now, fast forward all the way to the judgment, and Leslie was the first one to present his dish. Nailed. The famous chef found his steak to be perfect, but there was still one problem. It is soft and yeah. limp. Despite the soggy ass fries, Leslie was the first contestant to be saved, and not everyone was happy about it. You nailed medium rare, the char, everything. Good job. Go join your best friends up there on the balcony. Yeah, could they be more obvious? Either way, Leslie managed to stay in the competition all the way until he reached the top three. Remember that salt and sugar mix up from earlier? Yeah, that was the end of his journey on the show. But guess what? He continued to make appearances in the future seasons. Like in season 6, Leslie graced the show once again for the 100th episode. I hope these guys are bringing their A game. I guess they wanted a taste of that Leslie charm all along. He also made a cameo appearance in season 10, and this time, as a guest judge? Yeah, not everybody gets that honor, that's awesome! He sure did make the pool party fun with his presence, didn't he? But guess what? His personal life is just as intriguing as what we've seen on the show. Turns out, he's the stepfather of the actress Melissa Joan Hart, who's the actress who played the main lead in Sabrina the Teenage Witch. You were asking? No, Mr. Poole said photosynthesis would not be on the test. Who knew that he had such an interesting connection with the entertainment industry, huh? No, no, I'm not talking about his connection as a stepdad. Leslie has had quite the career as an executive producer for television movies. In 2021, he worked on a movie titled Mistletoe in Montana. You know, your mama loved this place, but never as much as at Christmas time. Christmas is just so magical here. The following year, he served as the executive producer for not one, but two Christmas movies. One was called Once Upon a Main Street, and the other was named Dear Christmas. And then there was Christmas Reservations, A Very Nutty Christmas, and another movie titled Nine Dead. I brought the nine of you here today for a reason. But here comes something really interesting. Leslie got in some legal trouble when he was taken into custody by the Palm Beach Gardens police alongside his sister, Marianne Morrison. It all started when his sister passed out in a restroom at a local bar and ended up being cut near her brow. When an EMS medic tried to attend to her, apparently she hit him in the head. What followed next was his sister being transported to the nearest hospital and from there to jail as her brother Leslie and another sibling named Damien just looked on. The two brothers were unaware of the situation, and when Leslie tried to get some answers in his own signature style, I'm sure the cops decided to book them for poor behavior. Not really surprising, huh? As a result of that incident, Leslie ended up facing charges of disorderly conduct and trespassing. On the other hand, Morrison, his sister, landed a charge of battery on an EMT. 
Sometime later, both of them were released on their own reconnaissance. Now, let's dive into Leslie's career as a chef. In November of 2018, he opened Silver Fox Oysters. One of his creations at the restaurant was his own oyster sauce, which added a unique touch to the dishes served. Outside of his restaurant ventures, Leslie has also been active on social media. He uses the platform to share pictures of his delicious food creations on a regular basis, giving followers a glimpse into his culinary world. What's more, Leslie also offers personalized videos on Cameo, where fans can request messages or shoutouts from him. Anybody interested? You know how to reach him now! Despite all the ups and downs he's had in his life, his dedication to cooking and creativity continues to demonstrate his passion for the culinary arts. Through his restaurant and online presence, he continues to inspire food enthusiasts and share his love for cooking with others. Whether it's through a savory dish at Silver Fox Oysters or a mouth-watering photo on Instagram, when it comes to Leslie's life, you ain't seen shit yet. So, what do you have to say about his controversial journey on the show? Also, are you Team Leslie or not? I know what side I'm on. Make sure to let me know where you stand in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to visit my social media pages, drop a like, subscribe, and turn on my post notifications if you haven't already. Plus, if you thought this video was crazy, then wait till you see my next video right here since it's even better.